Hi, quick introduction to using iTunes. What we're going to do in this video is just cover the basics of getting music into iTunes and getting stuff from iTunes onto your iPod. Okay, first things first, start iTunes. Always work with the latest version. Uh, if you are not up to the latest version, download a new one. Uh, iTunes, if you start, it will probably tell you there's a latest version available. So when you start it, it will rattle around, maybe ask you a few questions the first time, and then you'll be presented with something that looks like this. And you'll have selected your music. Now at the moment, it's telling me I have no music. This is a blank music library. You'll see over on my desktop I have two folders. These folders contain my music that I want to put into iTunes. Now, as it turns out, what I've got is a folder. I'll just open that up. I have two of these folders, and the folder Leona Lewis contains an album called Spirit, and inside of that I have all of the MP3 tracks for that album. Now, this is the standard way to lay things out, but you don't need to. Okay, you don't need to. Um, so if your files exist as MP3s, whether they're organized like this or they're slightly disorganized, it doesn't really matter. All you should be able to do is drag the folder onto iTunes and let go. And you'll see, copying, 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 and you're in. That's it, your music's in iTunes. Um, in the view we're in at the moment, and these are the view buttons up here, in the view that we're in at the moment, we're viewing pictures. Now, if we had um, connected to the iTunes store or all that technical stuff, we'd have a picture of the album cover right here. As it is, we haven't got that, so we're just getting this little music thingy. But this is the album view that we're in. Um, if I click on this view, which is the list view, you can see the tracks in the album. And you can see the data about those tracks. So in this view, I can drag the other folder in, drop it off, and we're in. And that's it. It's that simple. Now, the better way to do this, out of re for reference, is to just pop a CD in your computer with iTunes running. You'll be prompted to at, and it will ask you, do you want me to import this into iTunes? Just say yes. It'll do the same thing. It'll import the tracks, and it should, if you have a connection to the internet on your computer, find the track names and sort it all out for you. Isn't that great? Okay, so the second step in this process, once we've got the music into iTunes, is to get it onto our iPod. To do that, really, really, really simple. The cable that came with your iPod, plug it into your computer in the USB port, plug it into the iPod. You don't even need to turn the iPod on, it'll all do itself in automatically, and this kind of thing will start happening. You'll see this kind of screen. Okay, you can see, be very careful now, you can see I've selected the iPod, it's appeared here. Okay, I've selected the iPod, it's appeared here. We're no longer looking at the list of music on my computer, this is what's on my iPod. 